Hello and welcome back to this course on Advanced Custom Fields. Now in the previous video we added the Advanced Custom Field text field to our page uh, text field and we edited our, our theme. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our own child theme specifically for the 2016 theme. You can use this child theme for any um, anything that you want really. So to do this, what I've done is I've opened my code editor and three files that you really need to do are to create are the functions, the style and the screenshot. Not necessarily a screenshot but it's nice to have. So you set up a style file and then put in some of the information so for example the theme name the theme URI which goes to my Twitter author which is me the URI again this just goes to my Twitter the template now this is important is 2016 because what we're doing is in our styles we are going to no sorry not styles in our functions we're going to be enqueuing our scripts the, the styles that get from our parent styles which is the 2016 main theme. Um, back to stars. Just a description, your version number, and your license. And that's your styles, and then you're good to go. Then back to functions. Literally, all I've done is I've added some uh, an, an action script um, just to get the URI styles. Um, and I've added. A little screenshot there. Now you may have noticed that I've got ACF text field. Now this we took from, I've taken from a previous video, the last video in this course. So what we did, we went into the course, we went into the uh, main 2016 theme and we created a custom template that grabs our custom field. Now so what I've done is I've just literally copied and pasted it into the directory here into our themes 2016 child theme and there we have it I've zipped this up so you can download it and you can find it in the description below the video or you can head to my website and you can grab it there it's on the Google Drive so it's quite easy to do so download this copy and modify it if you wish have a play with it and then what you need to do is you just need to activate it and then you can have a look at our website and as you can see that it should all be the same which it is after it's loaded take some time my computer's running slow and there we go we're actually on the page that we created so there we go we've got our child theme so in this child theme what I'll be doing is I'm going to be adding more styles more scripts we're going to create an index.php, some other bits and bobs as we go along this course and we create our project, which is the restaurant reviews. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions or if you would like me to add something along this course, I'm happy to do so. Just leave a comment in the comments box below. Give me a tweet, say hi, Benjamin Adev. I'm on Twitter and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks very much.